The streets of Venduku were quiet and deserted last night. Only a few individuals could be seen moving around as some residents were rounding up their daily activities and heading to their homes. All bus and other alcohol outlets were closed and only a few people could be seen walking around the normally busy areas of Vanaheda and Soweto, as well as the informal settlements of Havana, Kurenhap and Greenwell, Matongo. The society or the community, they have to, to stay at home. They don't need necessarily to move around the street unless one has to go to the shop and buy something to eat for the families. But we find a situation where everybody is just in the street. But as time goes, we expected this community to, to change their behaviors. During the police special operation, the only criminal cases recorded involved assault and domestic violence. Yeah. What type of a knife? It's a cutting knife. Tough one. Tough one, nice. Big knife. How tough one, nice. How are you? Police. Hmm? Can you stand up? Wake up. Wake up. Can you, can you face me? Why did you beat me? He beat me, then he chased me. He tried to kill me. Is it this one? Is this one? Yeah. The whole street. Yeah. Oh, oh. Police says they are committed to ensuring total adherence to the rules. If somebody contravenes some of the, 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 the regulation and the rules of state of emergency and the, the provisions, at the end of the day, you can be arrested and you can be charged and you will be liable to pay a fine of. Um, $5,000 Namibian dollar, or you, you, are, you, are, you are taken to court. In another incident witnessed since the lockdown was the arrest of men found selling alcohol secretly at Olushanja, an area in the Korean Hub suburb. They were swiftly brought to the Vanaheda police station. <laughs> Jeff Tashihomino, NBC News, Venduk.